All right, so the arrow is playing now. It, I had to press play. If I had to uh, back out and go back to Cody and try another video. I don't know why it didn't work right away. But this is now playing on my Xbox One. The sound is low. And as you can see, it's lagging due to my terrible internet. But um, it does play. And just to prove that it is the Xbox One, I mean, it is Cody, I'm going to stop it. Now let's go back to the camera. See? Now it, it plays through the movies and TV app. Now I'm gonna restart it again. And let's see if I can get this to start without picking a whole new video. All right, when I pressed play on, on uh, Bubble UPMP, I had to go to the Xbox and press play too. It didn't play without me doing that for some reason. So, again with the lag. There you go. Now you have, oh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. My internet is so bad, but um, it does work. And this is the Xbox One. Um, so again, there, there you have it. I mean, if I guess if you have any questions or comments, you can leave it. Let me know. So again, very briefly, you want to download Cody. Oh, Cody actually stopped. You want to download Cody. You want to download ES File Explorer. You want to go to the e you want to go to ES File Explorer. Go to Settings at the bottom of the screen. Bottom left, click settings, click display settings, and then click show hidden files. All right. You want to be able to see hidden files. Then you go to your web browser. I really did it do that. You go to your web browser and you search for bubble UP NP core. All right, you download Bubble UPMP from the Play Store. You search for Bubble UPMP Core. Um, I use this XDA developers form to get the uh, file that we need. You can go to other places, but let's just stick with that one, excuse me. So you click on that. Now, if you wanna actually learn why this works and how exactly it works, I suggest you read this. This is this kind of stuff is interesting to me. But anyway, if you just want to get it to work and you don't care about all that, you just go to download list. You go to player core factory list and you you click the link for bubble UPMP. It'll send you to a website where you will download the file you need to install. And basically you hit the download button right there. But basically what this file is, if you read the text, basically this is a settings file and it tells Cody which um, media player to use. That's all this is. It's a file that tells Cody what media player to use. So you download it. Then you go back to ES File Explorer. After it's downloaded, you go to your download folder. You get your bubble UP MP core this one just says player core because I changed it. This yours will say bubble UPNP player core factory. You rename it and you just rename it player core factory. You delete bubble UPNP. You rename it player core factory. Then you long press on it. You hit copy. You browse to your root internal storage. So being that mine is zero and it's right above this, yours is probably the same thing. It may say something different, but it's right there. So once you get there, once you hit that, let me see if I can go back. Yeah, this is the download folder. You hit this thing right above it to the left here. All right? You look for the Android folder with the uh, little gear on it or the settings icon. You hit that. You hit data, you hit org.xbmc.cody, which is right here. You tap, wait, you tap that, you hit files, you hit .cody, 
you hit user data. Now at the bottom middle of the screen where it says paste, you hit paste. All right. Now I already have the file there, so skip. I'm not going to, but you hit paste and you should see player core factory in your Kodi setting files. So after that, you go to Kodi, you pick a video. It's going to, uh, it's going to send you a message and say, well, press OK when you're done using, when the video is done. So Bubble UPMP is going to pop up and this is what it looks like. Now, before you can get the video to the Xbox, you're going to get a pop up saying you need to install an extra file in order to play videos from another app. You install those files. Where it says now playing in the top left, you hit these little lines and you, where it says renderer, you put it on Xbox One. Local renderer means it plays on your, the device you're using. You hit Xbox One, you press play, and where's the camera? You hit play. Never mind my ghetto stand there. And on your controller, Press play. I don't know why it just doesn't just play by itself. And for me, at least, after an, after an eon, it'll play. And it always lags on the same spot. But make sure you have a sound internet connection and you won't have this problem. But that is how to get Cody onto your Xbox One. I hope you enjoy and take advantage of it.